हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आय हॉस्पिटल एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस कमेंटेड वीडियो सीरीज वीडियो नंबर फाइव आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ यंग पेशेंट विथ यूनिलैटरल ट्रॉमेटिक कैटरैक्ट दिस पेशेंट परहैप्स हैड सम इंजुरी इन चाइल्डहुड एंड डेवलप्ड अ रोजेड टाइप ऑफ ट्रॉमेटिक कैटरैक्ट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऑपरेट ऑन इन यंग पेशेंट्स आर जनरली मोर एंक्शियस and when you start off uh, with the topical phaco emulsification on such patients you have to reassure them during the surgery the first thing uh, they have uh, is the issue of bright light so they have to get used to the bright light so i spend first couple of minutes for them just to get used to the bright light and they get adapted very well so i am using a ccc marker this is a slightly smaller marker of 5 mm and i want to make a good central rexis for this patient so that the eye will stays good in the back for long years ahead i'll be using some intracameral xylocan as well this xylocan is uh, without preservatives so is safe for the endothelium you can see that there are some sphincter tears already there i have checked this patient thoroughly preoperatively you have to check this patients in undilated status and note down the size of the pupil because post trauma there can be traumatic midriasis and if the pupil size in undilated state is large then the patient may face some glares uh, in the post operative period so in such cases we may have to do pupilloplasty in this patient the undilated pupil size was 3 mm and that's why i decided not to do any pupilloplasty but still before i close the surgery i will put some diluted pilocarpine and check for the final pupil size so the ccc was done under 2% hpmc though for younger eyes i would recommend the beginners to use better viscoelastics like 1.4 or 1.8 percent hyaluronate or use viscoat which gives you much better control over the capsular axis and try to do capsular axis if you are using cystitome use the side port small incision so you tend to have better safer and complete capsular axis and avoid capsular axis extension so for softer grade cataracts i always do hydro dissection first and then do multiple hydro delineations as you can see here you can see the multiple golden rings and of course the plan is to do phaco aspiration there will not be any need of uh, use of high phaco energy definitely because this is a softer nucleus as you can see and luckily this patient uh, doesn't have any deepening of anterior chamber when the fluid is on and patient is quite comfortable now uh, and not feeling any discomfort i have already reassured the patient in between so what i do whenever i am entering the eye with the phaco probe and the irrigation is on i inform the patient that he may feel some kind of pressure sensation so once the patient already knows what to expect patients generally become less anxious over a period of time if they unexpectedly get the discomfort they are more anxious for the future steps so the most of the steps are going uh, as routine without any complication now i have to decide which iol to put so we have to counsel these patients very thoroughly young patients they want the best of iol technology and many times they want to go for a trifocal iol or extended depth of focus iol which uh, they know that that is the latest technology available but many times when they have the other eye which is abs absolutely normal emetropic giving a excellent visual quality they tend to compare this operated eye with the unoperated eye and that creates problem so in my case i usually opt for a monofocal iol well, unless the patient is really really motivated for a trifocal or a extended depth of iol well, and i inform them that they will always feel that the contrast sensitivity between the two eyes will be different and uh, in case uh, they are not happy they may have to Uh, get the iol explanted and put the monofocal iol uh, but i feel that if the 
patient is really young say 20 to 30 years old uh, so it's not a presbyopic age and uh, so we can put monofocal IL at present because unless patient has presbyopia in the other eye there is no point in putting a presbyopic correcting IOL in this eye and patient will not appreciate the visual quality so it's better to put a monofocal IOL in uh, post presbyopic age of course there is a choice that we can use uh, this particular IOL to correct the patient's presbyopia as well of course with ex proper explanation so I have added here 1 is to 10 diluted myocol which is a cholinergic agent to constrict the pupil I just wanted to see that the pupil is constricting well and uh, we are not going to have any issue of post traumatic midriasis so this particular patient there is the pupil size is not very large so I am going to leave it as it is not going to do any pupiloplasty procedure and uh, I could have put the pilocarp in little later maybe after doing the visco wash because after constricting the pupil I am having little trouble to do the visco wash of course I am experienced enough to go behind the IOL and uh, take out all the visco from the bag so it's uh, fairly going smoothly so whenever we have a young patient unilateral traumatic cataract we have to think of a lot of things we have to examine the patient very thoroughly uh, preoperatively to look for any uh, lens issues like subluxations or posterior capsular dehiscence also look for the pupil size in the undilated uh, state it's very important because you have to plan the surgery then accordingly and also speak with the patient about the choice of IOL because of the young age naturally they want the best of the IOL technology to be used but then we have to take a decision based on what suits the patient best the refractive ED of IELTS definitely uh, exciting way to correct these particular eyes and uh, we'll look forward to more results from those and definitely if the patient is willing we can go ahead with the ED of IELTS as well as trifocal in these cases that's not a contraindication Thank you so much for watching this video and do visit our website fakotraining.org.in and do submit your videos for review and publishing on the website. Thank you so much.